Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer and welcome to your 18th Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2010 Express tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be moving on to Windows Forms. Now I know a bunch of you have been waiting a long time for this and um, I'm really excited to start making tutorials using Windows Forms because there's so much you can do and the .NET framework makes it very easy to design and create Windows very fast so you can focus on the code of the program and not trying to design the window. So go ahead and come up here to file and we're going to drop down this menu and create a new project. Now instead of selecting console application this time select a Windows Forms application and I'm just going to call this YouTube Tutorials and then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now you can call it whatever you want um, I would suggest something like Hello World because that's what we're going to be doing um, in this uh, tutorial. So let's just go ahead and wait for that to load. Now here you can see we have our form. Now come up here to your um, menu bars and you're going to find this second one right here. Now go all the way across and you're going to find a hammer and what looks like a wrench. So go ahead and click on that and what that's going to do is it's going to open up your toolbox. Now your toolbox is a whole bunch of stuff that you can use to add to your form um, to make it do certain things and to make it easier for the user to interact with it. So we're going to be going more in depth in the toolbox um, in later tutorials. So to get started we're just going to go ahead and add a button. And that's all we're going to be using the toolbox for right now. So we'll just make it a little bigger. This form looks really ugly. It's terrible design but who cares. We want to focus on the code. So go ahead and click on this button and if your properties window is not already up over here, go ahead and right click on it and click properties. Now you can expand this window right here. And what we want to do is we want to set the text to, let's just say, say hello. Now let's scroll up. And this is something you want to make a habit of um, when you're coding in uh, the .NET framework using Visual Basic, C Sharp, whatever, anything that uses this sort of design. Um, for naming buttons and so forth. You always want to change the name of your button because when you create a program with um, possibly even hundreds of buttons you're going to look back and see button one what does that do and you're going to have to spend a whole bunch of time uh, finding out what button one does. So you always want to name it something that's easy to remember um, that you can find later on. So for this tutorial I'm just going to use the, um, the shorthand version of button used by a lot of programmers it's just BTN. So this is all up to personal preference. Um, if you guys want to type out the whole world, whole word button, you can go ahead and do that. But I'm just going to use a shorthand for now. And I'm just going to type say hello because that's what the button says and that's what it does. So now that we've renamed the button, what you want to do is we want to see the code for this. So we're going to double click on say hello. And I'll just zoom in here. So you can see here it created this thing called private void button say hello click object sender and event args e. Now this may be confusing at first but just go ahead and ignore this. For now all I want you guys to know is that this um, function right here or method since it doesn't return anything it's going to run the code inside of here whenever the user clicks on this say hello button. So whenever they click on this, it's going to run whatever code you have in here. So let's just go ahead and type the keyword message box. Now if you read it, it says displays a message box that can contain text, buttons, and symbols that inform and instruct the user. So this is just a little window that um, at, its base, at its most uh, basic setting, um, it just has text on it and it has the OK button. So we're just going to type message box dot show because we're going to show a message box. Now whenever you show the message box, the user will not be able to interact with anything else or any other windows in that program until they have um, done something with that message box. And I'll show you that later on. And this is going to need some arguments. Now inside of our arguments, um, what we're going to do is, oh, sorry about that, we need to write the text that's going to be displayed. So the message is going to be displayed to the user. So we'll just type hello world. Now if we put a comma here, uh, let's see, let me use the arrows right here. 
So you can see here we can have the option for string text and the next option is the caption which is basically the title of the message box. So we'll just do YouTube as the title. Go ahead and close that out and put a semicolon uh, to end the line. So this code right here is going to run whenever the user clicks say hello. So let's go ahead and run this and see what kind of output we get. So here's our form. We can move it around. We can do a whole bunch of stuff with it. Uh, we can minimize it. All this stuff is already done for, the, for us by um, the compiler and the .NET framework. We don't have to spend a bunch of time making our window do what we want it to. So when we click on say hello, you can see it opens up a window here that says hello world with the title YouTube. Now if I try to click on form one, you'll see what happens. Let me turn my volume up here so um, you can hear this. Uh, there we go. It's wanting us to do something with this message box before it um, continues the program. So we can just go ahead and click OK. This thing will quit lagging so much. Okay, there we go. Now we have control of this form again. So let's just come back in here. Um, let's see. Okay, finally I got it working. So um, I'll just go ahead and explain this to you one more time. Uh, basically, when you click the button, it says message, message box show with the text hello world and the title YouTube. So go ahead, um, practice with that. You can put more buttons on there. Make sure you give them names that you're going to remember and show some message boxes and see what you can do with those. And once you've got that mastered, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.